Hey everybody, my name is Cayman. I'm with the Spa and Sauna Company. This week I'm going to bring you a couple hot tub service issues that you can fix for yourself at home. If your spa's heater ever gets too hot, it'll likely enter something called protection mode or watchdog mode, or it might just display any number of error codes, and this is actually a feature of your spa to avoid causing serious damage to itself. The first thing we recommend doing is consulting with your owner's manual. If you don't have it on hand, that's okay. In the blog post, you'll find links to the owner's manuals for some of the most popular brands we carry here in the store. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is clean your filter. Oftentimes, a dirty filter can prevent water from circulating properly through your spa, and that's gonna cause your heater to overheat. Before cleaning your filter, you're going to want to disconnect the power to your spa. Then you can pull your filter out and you can spray it down with just a garden hose if you'd like, or if you think you might need a little bit more of a deeper clean, try some filter cleaner. Be sure to read the instructions on this, but this stuff does work really well. You're just going to want to make sure that you wash it all off before you put your filter back in. After cleaning your filter and putting it back in, go ahead and restart your spa. If your spa is still in protection mode after a few minutes, it's probably time for a new filter. We usually recommend replacing a filter at least once a year, but if you use your hot tub a lot, like we hope you do, you're gonna have to replace your filter more often. Feel free to check out our online store or come on in and we're gonna be happy to get you the filter that fits your spa. This next one is a little bit more of a tip than it is a service issue, but it is something that we get asked about pretty regularly around here. If you're one of our local Reno Tahoe customers, you've probably wondered about the pipes in your home freezing during winter. Ho, ho, ho. Well, the same thing can happen to the pipes in your spa if you're not using it regularly during those colder months. To prevent your pipes from freezing, we recommend hanging a caged mechanics light inside the paneling of your spa where the pipes and the rest of your hot tub's inner workings are housed. You can pick one of these up at pretty much any auto parts store, and most are going to come with this little hook on the end. Hang it inside the paneling of your hot tub, and the bulb should produce enough heat to keep your pipes from freezing. Just remember to leave a couple of inches between the bulb and anything inside the paneling, and avoid using those LED bulbs because those are actually designed to reduce the heat output. All right, everybody, that wraps up this video. If you think you might need some more help with some of your service issues, please feel free to call. Our number is on the screen. And keep in mind, we have a team of award-winning service technicians ready to come out to your house and get your spa back up and running for you. And if you missed last week's video, we covered how to resolve a flow sensor error and what to do if your spa stops heating. Be sure to check that out. Once again, everybody, thanks for watching. My name's Cayman. We're gonna have another video coming to you next week with some more hot tub service issues that you can fix for yourself at home.